Tell me and I'll forget. Show me, I may remember, but involve me and I'll understand. A Chinese proverb, which speaks to the fact that when information is withheld from the masses, discourse takes place. And through this, ling- through this lack of language and a lack of knowledge language, it can result in a tumultuous epidemic and a PR nightmare for any strategic communicator. During my time in undergrad at South Carolina State University, I served as the 89th Student Government Association president, representing over 3,500 students at the only public historically black university in South Carolina. I had a great task on my hands, as you can imagine. Towards the close of my term, there was a disgruntled cry from students about certain aspects of the university governance uh, with the university administration, president, vice presidents, and so forth. From this, uh, a very small group of students uh, initiated petitions and contacted reporters and had rallies of their dis- to exemplify their dissatisfaction. And however, granted, it was great to see momentum and great to see action from the student body. It was all based off of information that was either outdated, incorrect, or based off of a biased or an opinionated perspective of information that was given to them from students from disgruntled faculty and staff. This situation escalated to more than expected attention acquiring uh, national exposure from CNN to the Post and Courier, the Times and Democrat and beyond. This was my first time ever dealing with a situation like this, but my cabinet and I took action doing the necessary research to find the appropriate and accurate information to address each of the six points in the student's petition. When we provided this information, not only did we just give them the facts, we gave them the sources of the facts, not people, but the tangible sources, the websites, the budgets, the information, the contact persons to contact if they ever had questions in the future to ensure that this situation did not happen again. This therefore provided a developed, more aware state of mind for the student body. And most importantly, this also amplified a greater and more powerful and succinct voice speaking from a language of success and unity for the student body. No longer were they making decisions off of just what someone told them. They were getting the necessary and accurate information and an understanding of that information to ensure that the social structure of the university from the, un- from the student body to the administration was succinct and clear. According to the theory of Berger, language is important in the production of social structure and the, assists in forming the social processes. In this connection to theory, we will find that this language of knowledge has an impeding effect on the effective progress necessary for changes to take place at South Carolina State University. We found that withholding information does not ensure an equal distribution of power for the students or the university administration. And this also inhibits individuals to make sound decisions of things that directly impact them in the future or immediately. To ensure that such a situation did not occur again, again applying the theory of Berger to share the wealth and to share the knowledge and to share the power and communication and the power of language, we implemented a few things. We implemented quarterly town hall sessions that would bring in the various departments and Divisions of uh, divisions of the university that have a direct impact on the student body um, for quarterly sessions of giving updates, um, providing an opportunity for students to ask questions and to acquire an understanding of what is going on, why certain changes were made, and voicing their concern of the impact that it makes on them. From there, we also established a grievance bureau and placing an ombudsman person to help resolve any and every situation that a student might have. Scholarship money is low. We have a source for that to find a solution. Uh, issues with your roommate uh, in the RHA or your RA or your residential educator is not assisting in rectifying the situation. We, again, have a way to assist you in making sure that that, res- that situation is resolved. And then also disseminating biweekly email updates for the student body of anything and everything that is taking place on the campus and how it directly affects them. Beyond this, What it comes to a conclusion of, though this was my first time ever engaging in such an activity, ever engaging in such uh, a situation as this, I had to 
Number one, to seek understanding of what the issues were. And therefore, from that, I could go forth and acquire the necessary understanding and the necessary information to provide clarification and accurate information to the student body and to the disgruntled students and faculty and staff. From this experience, I've also been able to implore uh, an effectiveness in my own communication and an understanding of how, what the importance of sharing and sharing communication and sharing a language and establishing a safe language that everyone can utilize to voice our opinions, to voice our concerns, as well as to voice our solutions. From this experience, I find that when there's a disconnect from either end of the spectrum in communication, that will cause discourse, that will cause uh, uh, trepidation and an uneasiness and a lack of security and confidence in their leadership. So when you establish an open uh, open door policy, an open communication uh, forum, that will also implore or bring forth the opportunity for individuals to speak their minds and engage in a, in a positive and progressive dialogue. Thank you.